we're going to move on to this room now. This will be the main room where a lot of things are going, are going on. So first thing I'm going to do is create a wall extension. That sounds complicated. What we're going to do is go to segments. Uh, segments are like you can add extensions or pieces to something. You can add a wall. That's really what segments are. And since we're in hangar bay, we're going to look for the hangar bay stuff. So we're going to click on uh, one of these larges. We're going to click the top one. All right. <clears throat> so since that's clicked and selected, use the hotkey M. You'll see that you'll have an arrow. Now what do these arrows mean? Well, that's going to point where your wall is going to be created. The M key creates a wall. Not in, not entirely sure why they chose M to be the hotkey for a wall, but uh, this was created in Europe. So, all right. So we're going to have the arrow pointing towards the left. We're going to left click it, and boom, there's our wall. Now we're going to rotate until the arrow is pointing upwards. We're going to place it right there, and another one right there. Now. You're going to rotate it until it's pointing towards the left and click it right there. And there is our beautiful, beautiful newly constructed wall. Although something tells me it's a little too squished, so we're going to right click and get and get and, and it got rid of it. Again. Simple. If you made a mistake, just right click it now. When you do that, make sure the arrow is pointing towards whatever it is you want to get rid of. For instance, if the arrow is pointing this way and I want to get rid of that wall, I won't get rid of it. The arrow has to be pointing towards the thing that you want to get rid of. So right click it, it's gone. But I kind of like it there, so left click, I'll put it right back. So this time I'm going to put the wall right about there. And I'm going to add another extension there. That way it's long enough, it's completely in the middle, it looks it, it looks good. Okay, so that that's done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some some nice uh, scenery to this. Let's see. Go to If you notice by now, this entire program is all based on click and drop, that sort of thing. Uh, we are going to add Equipment B. Change it to Static by clicking Y. We're going to place it right next to this. And another one right there right click to get rid of it new entity we're going to go cylinder C this time we do want a dynamic every video game needs to have some flammable barrels I'm gonna put some actually I'll move it down here a little bit There we go. <clears throat> now in here, I'm going to put in Corpse A. Yeah, we're going to put a dead body right in there. I'm going to stick him right there. Now you're probably thinking, well, why put a dead body in there? Because there's no place to get to it. Well, we're going to go to Segments. And we are going to add a door right there. Now we now there is a place to get to it. Now we created a whole new room using that door. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, 
going to do a little bit of a pause and add some more stuff here and then when we get back I'll show you how to edit some stuff and that sort of thing so uh, this is a great opportunity to use what I've taught you to add in some stuff maybe make a new room or something like that I'm just going to finish up here and then I'll show you some new tricks and techniques on adding lights adding some uh, adding some scripts I told you there will be no coding that's true but you can also change the behavior of certain of certain things so I will see you I will see you then